guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. Uh, a lot of you know us from the getting started in three gun, uh, introduction to three gun videos. And uh, we're starting to play around with some other, um, some other games. And so the one that uh, obviously it seems to be hot right now and we're interested in getting invested in is the PCC game. So um, we're gonna be doing a series of videos on the equipment and playing the game. Some of our friends like Josh Fralick, who's one of the top PCC shooters in the country is gonna give me some lessons on shooting PCC so I can get better and hopefully we can convey that all to you. So uh, join me at the office while we uh, talk about uh, the different guns and gear that we're going to use for getting into 3-gun and PCC. Wow. The idea for this came from our friends at Weber Tactical. Um, it's one of our clients and they make these awesome uh, mag pouches. And, you know, they've done really, really well with these in the last year. And they said, we'd like to put together a series of videos and really let people know about this new game because it's pretty cool. And I think the most attractive thing to me about it is it's like an opportunity to play as fast as the open guys do, but without the ridiculous cost of the handgun. So um, basically, uh, this is an opportunity to be as fast as any other any other gamer on the field for the you know lowest price possible. So. Um, we contacted a few of our friends um, and they, we got a lot of help on this. So uh, JP supplied the, the GMR-15, Vortex, the optics, uh, Arms and Arms was in for the Glock mags, um, and then um, there's a company called Taylor Freelance which did the base pads. Uh, they're not part of this review other than to say they've been great so far. And then our ammo is being supplied by ORM Tech. So that's JP, Vortex, Weber Tactical, ORM Tech, and arms and arms. I mean, kind of a cool group of people. So, all right. So here's what's up. Um, you know a little bit about the games, and PCC hasn't really changed the game that much. Um, I think the other reason I wanted to get into this kind of sooner than later was that, um, you know, eventually, well, USPSA is already sort of making some rules up that are making it a little less fun, like they're DQing you for flipping your uh, safety before the buzzer or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. So um, it, it's time, if, if there's definitely an outlaw moment to shoot PCC, it's going to be this year. We've got really great guns. We've got the, you know, kind of a low rule set and an opportunity to just go out and see how fast we can get these guns to go. So uh, let's go through the guns and gear. Starting with the JP-15, or GMR-15. So, uh, you know, obviously you've seen my videos on the JP-15. I love their guns. Um, I'm actually... Um, shot JP's rifles for a couple of years in a row um, and, and had nothing but good luck with them. And a good friend of ours over at JP said, hey, um, you can borrow my GMR. So this is his side charging. This is the all the bells and whistles. GMR 15, you know, billet upper and lower. It's got all the toys on it, the thermal dissipator, their new three chamber brake and all this stuff. And, you know, I got a chance to take this thing out a couple of times. One was um, this fall. And I also got a chance to run this gun in the Trekker. Unfortunately, you know, it uh, happens every now and again. I managed to delete all the video, which was awesome. So you'll have to take my word for it. It was great. I'll show some, you know, still images or something here. So um, so the gun was fantastic. It, you know, it was 100% reliable. It's very, very easy to shoot. I mean, all the things that you're looking for in a PCC. I don't have a basis for comparison, but I will get that accomplished before I do the full review on the gun. Um, the optic was just a standard AR uh, spark from Vortex. Um, I've been using this optic on, um, you know, sort of self-defense and, um, and plinkin rifles for years. It was fantastic. I am interested in talking to the guys over at Vortex about, you know, a little more open window like a razor or just a straight red dot. And so we'll be looking at that as a possibility, but this certainly, and the price is great. I mean, these are under 200 bucks. Uh, works fantastic. The gun ran beautifully. Um, the main thing with, with the guns is the magazines and everybody wants the Glocks. So here's the Glock 30 round sticks or what are these? Yeah, 30, 30 rounders. And then um, there's a whole bunch of products for getting the extensions on here. So these happen to be the Taylor Freelance. I wanna make sure I'm getting that right. Um, and they give you a, a full uh, extra 10. So these are 40 round sticks, maybe 42, something like that. Um, now, I haven't shot any matches really seriously, so I have no idea if this is enough. I know that you know from what I've seen on the um, on the forums is that people are looking for you know basically getting as many rounds as they possibly can so i'll let you know whether 40 or 42 is enough but so far so good it certainly was great for the trekker and for the fun i was shooting out um the other thing i'll say is is um during that fall shoot i had a a, a girlfriend of mine came out to shoot with us and i threw this in her hands for a couple seconds 
and and the smile was like you know here to here. I mean these guns are incredibly easy to shoot, and besides being a super you know go fast tool, they're also an incredible um, you know setup for teaching people how to shoot or bringing them out and exposing them to games for the first time because you can be incredibly successful on your first go, which is really important. So the uh, the other piece to this is um, you know you need some sort of a belt setup, and I basically uh, set this up um, based on on what I've seen my friends do who are kind of the fancy shooters like Josh, Josh Frey, like, uh, you know, there's, I set it up for ease, for fanciness, and for speed. So basically, uh, these are the, the mag pouches from Weber, dual wrap Kydex with a thumb screw adjustment. And, and basically my thought process was, is you only really need one magazine replacement, but especially with USPSA, when you got to walk up to the line, you might want to, um, you know, have one with you and, and one on hand. So, um, you know, you'd load off this one and this would be your speed load right here. So, um, you know, I haven't really screwed around with this too much. I'll have to let you know, but basically I set up just like every other uh, guy out there that's successful. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. And if I come up with something I like better, I'll certainly let you know. Um, but that's kind of where we're at now. As far as ammo goes, uh, it's nine millimeter, obviously. And so we were using ORM tech ammo, which has been my ammo uh, sponsor for a couple of years. And we set it up with um, 147 grain loads, just like I use with my um, my 2011s, and they ran great. I will say the loaded long did not fit in the Glock magazine, so I had to grab some other rounds that I had that'll fit in anything than just the standard 147 grain uh, custom competition loads. Um, now we will try running some screaming rounds, some 115s, maybe even some 95s or something like that, and try some different loads. Um, you know, one, one thing, and, and I already suspect I know the answer, but, you know, these, these guns do have comps on them. And, you know, I couldn't tell that the comp was doing anything with the 147 grain loads. It was super lightweight. I did throw some, um, arms and had some ammo, some Sig Sauer uh, 115 grain stuff I put in there. And, and it, did, it did run a little hotter, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Um, I certainly didn't feel like I was driving the comp. That's something I'll have to work on and see whether that's necessary or just, you know, beautiful jewelry on the end of the gun there. So, um, all right, that's the guns and gear. That's what we're running. Um, stay tuned. We'll um, be doing, hopefully I can find that Trekker stuff. And if I do, I'll fly that in here or even do another video if I find it later. And then uh, we're going to be shooting some indoor matches, both 3-Gun and USPSA this winter. And I'll bring you, you know, the matches and my sort of thoughts as we go on these guns and on the gear and tell you how everything's working. And then, um, you know, maybe go over some of the rules as it relates to PCC to make this as easy on you as you can. So, all right, guys, it is 2018. It is January 2nd. And um, I'm going to have a hell of a year this year. I'm going to go out and have some fun. And I've kind of reminded myself why I did this in the first place, which was these games are a hell of a good time, guys. And, um, and I really encourage you to come out, whether it's USPSA, IDPA, 3-Gun, PCC, PRS, what have you. Start playing some games and start telling stories about what the Second Amendment means to you uh, and your family so that, you know, we are uh, dictating the way that the uh, narrative goes around, you know, the Second Amendment in our country. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a great season. Tune into Hawkeye Ordinance on Facebook, Hawkeye Syndicate on uh, Facebook and on um, Instagram and then uh, Hawkeye Ignite on Facebook as well. So we have a whole bunch of stuff going on this year and uh, looking forward to showing that all off with you guys as we go. Hope you're well and we look forward to seeing you on the range.